Okay, so it's uh, a couple of days after I had my angiogram. Finally here. Let's finally hear the day I've been dreading. Mr. Angiogram's gonna stick a catheter in your groin. Me, take picture, me, don't take picture. I can't stress how beautiful this moment was that I saw my heart, my actual heart. Just it was a miracle to see my own heart that's been doing this for more than 50 years. Beautiful thing to see. Then, before very long, he's got the cord out I didn't even know. And then he's got to kind of clamp down on there. You know, we've got to get that uh, incision area. We got to get that, get a clamp on that. <coughs> you know, we got to get that healed nicely for me so that was a little pressure that was tight that was like someone puts a vice grip there on your groin so again though uncomfortable painful well we just completed an angiogram we just run a thing up my leg my leg was sore my leg was sore i think that's different from saying my leg was in terrible excruciating pain no it was achy sore Ugh. they got me back out of there they said, now we just got to let that heal for three hours. <laughs> well, anyway, I thought, okay, if I'm lucky, I'll just sleep through that. So that's it. That's it. 20-minute procedure and a three-hour nap. Your leg's sore? She comes around and says, how are you? I said, well, my leg's sore, but I guess it's because you stuck a thing up there. I was nice. I was trying to be a bit funny. <laughs> And she was really great, too, this lady. She put a, kind of a big block of ice on there. Clunk, and whoa, that was like, oh, you know that kind of relief that you only get from, like, a really good poo, or you get from... <laughs> I'm trying to be funny. I don't know. I'm not sure this is a funny video. I'm not sure it has to be funny. I think it's a nice video about how good people are. This man, the cardiologist... Uh, well, is, would, he, would he properly be a cardio? I suppose he is. He does an angiogram. Maybe that makes him, him an angiogramianist. But anyways, he came in, and he's lovely. He knows, or he knew, I think, that he had in front of him a very nervous middle-aged man, and he's showing me a diagram he'd made based on the pictures he'd seen in my heart. He's enjoying showing me the diagram, and he says, everything looks good good I mean it looks good this one's a little weak but it's it's still functioning very well and this one's this one's kind of comes from a weird place but it's not it's not doing you any harm so he was really explaining it to me and and his tone of voice and the way that he he talked about it sounded like it's really good news and what a gentleman he did a thing this lovely thing it's while he's talked to me just gently gently you know when he's talking to me. I think there's a little bit of tears in my eyes, the relief, the good news, the gentle touch, you know, of a man that just cares. Wish I knew his name, I'd love to put it up here. I'm on, I can't say enough good things about him. Also, very important, that team of his. What a bunch of really delightful people. They're taking care of that wound. I kept having this lovely Asian lady, she came in, and she's looking at the, the wound. And each time she said, beautiful. Beautiful. I can't believe how enthusiastic these people are. Eventually the clamp came off and they put a bandage on it. And then next thing you know, uh, after kind of a long wait for me because I was having trouble sleeping, my friends are there and I get to put my clothes on <laughs> and I get to leave. Except the fact that I'm craving coffee, nicotine, and food very badly. Apart from those three things, I'm astonished at how well I feel and how I'm presenting. I wanted to be a drama queen. I was looking forward to being a drama queen and kind of walking up to my friends, you know. Hi, oh, hey. it's okay, I'll be all right. Don't worry, just get me back to your place so I can lie down because I feel that. No, I felt like I'm feeling now, honestly. Well, in fact, kind of full of adrenaline the thing that I was fearing a was not so bad B was done by really kind people and C was not as painful or invasive as I uh, 
could have ever imagined. So my friend, I'm going to call him out. My friends, friends, two people came for him. He only need one. Because they insist someone come to get you. My friend Heather and my friend Stephen. We went, we had lunch. We went shopping, really. We did. We just wandered around the mall. We had a good time, you know. We watched some movies and, you know, of Heather and Stephen are on the same floor. At a certain point, Heather went back home, you know, spent a good long time with me. And then uh, Stephen and me stayed up and watched I Spy. Now I want to do a movie review and just couldn't stop laughing at this is a good see this movie and eventually I went to bed next morning I spent a little time over coffee with my friend Stephen but I was anxious to I was anxious to get home I was anxious because I don't like being displaced but at the same time we had such a good day that day I felt like I was on vacation you know my friends were so kind to me people that whatever you want to call that the Toronto East General or whatever it's called fantastic people and to review the angiogram maybe not a day at the beach a little bit uncomfortable at times once mr angiograms got that thing started it's painless and if you're in a place with good staff they're going to take care of you they're going to take care of you where they jammed a catheter in me and stuck a tube i can't stress this enough it looks nothing more than a bug bite. That's how beautifully, beautifully they fixed up that wound. As far as pain, I th once in a while it stings a bit to remind me it's there, but that's my pain. There'll be no heavy lifting of things. There'll be no um, outdoor landscaping for me or weightlifting training. There'll be none of that because that could cause trouble for me in the early stages of recovery. But apart from that, I went for a walk in the neighborhood and I'm feeling uh, really well. I'm feeling really well. I have something gross for you. I have the bandage that was on my groin. Now Bob, why on earth would you want to show anyone that? If this makes you squeamish, look away, but I, this is important to me. I, I want, I'm going to share it with you. Here we go. Let's see, can you get a good look at that? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I think that's more beautiful than Jesus on the toast. I really do. God, he was in this is a really sickeningly good mood, that Bob. I like him when he's grumpy and complaining about things. I don't think I like this video. Well, I'll get back to that. You know me. Won't be long. So listen, that's the angiogram. Take care of each other.